layer by layer and trace by trace. The sound from this 3D printer inside OSU's Digital Union is creating something never done before. Yeah. Technician Jay Young. This is definitely the first time we've printed a real human's skull before. Young says it took close to 72 hours to print this skull in 3D. It started as a CT scan that was given to him by detectives in Greene County. This case has been cold since the start, seven months ago. Not even DNA or a picture of the woman's pink striped pants have led to credible clues. But new forensic technology could be the break to solve the case. With Samantha Molnar finishing up the final clue. The facial reconstruction is like the last ditch effort to get somebody to recognize that face. Samantha is a criminal intelligence analyst in the Ohio Missing Persons Unit. She's also a facial reconstruction artist at the State Crime Lab, who says this skull is more than just a Jane Doe. It's kind of sad to hold someone's skull in, their, in your hand and it not be just a 3D print, but it be their actual skull. And to know that that's somebody's family member that isn't going to be with them at Christmas or wasn't with them at Thanksgiving. And you want to be able to give that family closure. Sam says it took up to 60 hours for her to create the clay sculpture with each stroke and fine line connecting her closer to an identity. I can say that, especially when you get to this point and you just get the eyes, the nose and the mouth on it, they start to be somebody. Crime Tracker 10 found 90 somebodies in Ohio that are unsolved, 15 of them in central Ohio. But not all of the unidentified human remains qualify for the facial reconstruction. For the ones that do, the technology is bringing together science and art. It is accurate down to about point one of a millimeter. So when we're talking about details on a skull, that's pretty accurate. Sam says it took her breath away during training to see just how close her clay creation came to a true identity. She hopes her specialized skill will soon connect this Jane Doe to a name. In London, Angela Ann for 10TV News.